Hi guys, it's Sam and I am going to be doing a haul video and unfortunately you're going to be seeing haul videos from me back to back because the next video I'm going to film is my Sephora VIB sale. I would have filmed it today but the online order I placed is going to take a little bit longer and I'm just waiting for one thing so uh, I'm sorry about haul videos back to back. The first thing I share with you in this haul video though is something really cool and different it's a cell phone case and I'm kind of getting it ready which should tell you something it's different uh, ta -da! isn't that so cool I just love it I love that it's clear first of all but just how fun is that and my sister she got this for me I think off of eBay and she has a couple of uh, different ones one is gold uh, the things inside the cell phone case are gold and it's beautiful this one is really pretty too uh, next up is JC Penny and if you haven't checked them out since they reinvented themselves they modernized a little bit and they have some really cute things in there and one of the favorite one of my favorite go-to brands there was mango or MNG and unfortunately I found out today that they're not going to be sold there anymore as well as joe fresh but i haven't really got anything from joe fresh um the woman told me that they're all going to be probably in clearance if you do find anything uh by mango and they do have some stores i believe that are standalone stores uh i have i don't have one that's close to me so it's a real bummer and i um i'm glad i found these the things i'm going to show you i found these at a different mall that i went to last week so they're probably slowly phasing them out mango is a brand that's kind of they they have really cool some edgy but very um like not over the top just really cool fun things uh this is one of them it says la Marais, and it's i believe that means the marsh and just really simple but fun like i said fun with the sequins and i do have another shirt that says lamore and it's in blue another mango item is this blouse sort of blouse tank blouse kind of thing uh it's just beautiful i love this color and i love that triangular design at the top and stores like this uh you know they make affordable clothes but sometimes they have to skimp on the detail and this is not silk but what looks like silk doesn't go all the way around which i wish they would have but i still like it nonetheless and very very comfortable this shirt and the one i just showed you super soft and very wearable okay next is a shirt by disney and it features a character Winnie the Pooh and I am it's not one of my favorite animated characters but I do understand why people find the Winnie the Pooh story very endearing and um, I saw this and I just had to get it this is the shirt and I just the scene between Christopher Robin and Winnie the Pooh is just so sweet and I especially like the fact that it's gray background and they are in color I think that's so sweet and this is a shirt that I can wear to work which you know when you work with kids especially younger kids this is something I think they're gonna enjoy seeing and um, I'm gonna wear this probably there and also at home lounging around Another t-shirt I got is a scene from Breakfast at Tiffany's, one of my favorite movies. And it says here, these are there are certain shades of limelight that can wreck a girl's complexion. Holly Golightly. Now this scene that they're showing is when Paul, the main guy character, he is knocking on Audrey Hepburn's door. And he's knocking on the door trying to wake her up because uh, he has to use the phone. Or yeah, he has to use the phone. Uh, so I'm not sure where this quote is from. I don't recall this. It might be from the beginning of the movie. Anyway, it's by Audrey Hepburn and Paramount, the shirt, and it's high-low. And again, loungewear, um, going out. I probably wouldn't wear this to work, though. I don't know why. I just wouldn't. <laughs> and then this is by Decree. And it's they had a bunch of colors and sayings, but this one was my favorite. Who doesn't love this kind of, like, mink? green color i love it it says bubbles and brunch and the funny thing about this shirt is or sweatshirt is it's from the junior section which i find kind of mm, i don't know it's a little bit iffy that they would put bubbles which is champagne right or do you think they mean actual bubbles i think they mean champagne i can wear this though because i am of legal age and beyond uh so these two things next are very similar in color they're actually the same color they're by the same brand liz claiborne and this shirt is just 
so beautiful I just had to get it I love the top part it's so dainty and it's just it's a work appropriate shirt as well um, even if you don't work in a school I think this is great for a workplace and it's a little bit different the sides go up no the sides don't go up the sides uh, there's a slit on the side so that adds a little bit of different detail to it but I love shirts like this where it's flowy comfortable my body temperature I feel like it's 20 degrees higher than everyone else's and I always make fun of myself because I'm always hot and not looks wise temperature wise I'm very very hot so I love things like this that are loose but still very pretty to look at and then this is another one that I found now it comes with those things that uh, those things it comes with a tank top attached and I'm gonna have to cut that off because look at it I'm not gonna be fussing with that every day every day but isn't this a gorgeous top I just love this like polka dot or dot detailing and the front here is a little bit different just beautiful <sighs> that undershirt there is making it look awful but I hope you guys can look past that and just see how pretty this shirt is next up is Macy's and I'm sorry I'm bringing up work so many times but uh, I got this dress because they do special events where um, I think it's their way of trying to bring the employees and the kids and just make it a little bit more fun and bring us closer together so they have special what I call events uh, where you can dress up differently um, in, a in a specified way so one of them was wacky wardrobe day and the one coming up is hippie dress up day which I found this dress and it's more boho but I thought I could pass for hippie and I bought this just in case I the other plan that I had didn't work out which it did which I'm gonna show you next but isn't this a gorgeous dress I I liked it I wasn't in love with it but I got it anyway just to have a backup I actually am grow it's growing on me I think this this lace is beautiful so um, I got this dress the brand is bebop but my fallback plan well that was my fallback plan my main plan was to make a tie-dye shirt or find one for a reasonable reasonable price and i got a kit i did it myself i got a kit from walmart for less than 10 bucks and here it is ta-da so i'm probably gonna wear this i just feel like i'll be more comfortable that way um, i'm moving around a lot and um so i made this and i think it came out pretty awesome you just have to google not google um go to youtube how to make a swirl tie-dye shirt i love youtube for that kind of stuff it's just thank you youtube that helped me a lot uh the other thing for macy's are these pair of gloves and i feel like gloves are something that i buy either one or two pairs every year i don't know where they go they're kind of like socks i always lose them so uh, these are gloves by Echo and they're touchscreen of course. I don't think gloves are made now. It's a requirement to be touchscreen. Uh, I was obsessed with bows for a while that died down but I still love them and I think these are just so tastefully done. I love these and there's even like for you to get have a grip in the palms there so black of course. Uh, then here is from Uniqlo. My sister got these for me. They're the lounge pants straight pants and I believe these are foxes which is that's my current obsession right now is anything foxes so I'm not sure if this is like one animal or there's like two I think there's two I don't know um I guess it could be anything you want it to be but I love these and I love the color too okay oh shoes I got one pair of shoes from DSW and they sent out a coupon that was $20 off 49 which is unbelievable I think I think that's a very generous coupon so I got I found these shoes uh, they're Clark's and it's Clark's artisan and I got it in the clearance section which is even better so they're heels and they're seven and a half they're called sage glamour and I am a total flat flats girl even boots that I own there's none of them have a heel or anything it's just completely flats and so the fact that I found these, I was so excited, and they're beautiful. I'm so, so happy. I'm in love with these. And they look like this. I know the heel is so small, but this is really the only 
heel height that I probably can wear and be comfortable. And since they are Clarks, they are so, the padding on here is very nice. Uh, when I was walking in the store, and that's kind of like a false security, I feel like sometimes walking in the store, it's carpeted and, um, you know, your feet don't hurt until you're actually walking in the shoes. But I feel like these are going to be super comfortable. And I love that it's, this is a snakeskin kind of suede. And then this is leather, and I love the strap right here. So let me show you both of them. And so I got these at the clearance section, right? And it says Clark's Artisan, just in case you are looking for these. I got them. They were $99.94, and they were 50% off, which is what the blue sticker means on the shoe. So they were $49.99, so $49.94, which means I qualify for the $20 off. I got these shoes for less than $30. Just, I love finding stuff like that because it doesn't happen all that often, but when it does, it's just, it was great. Okay, now for some, not makeup things, there's only really one beauty item and that's a nail polish. Okay, so I got the spoon rest and you're probably like, what? For what? Because I already have a spoon rest. And I got it for the Beauty Blender. But this one is a little too bit too big. And it takes up a lot of room. I'm going to probably use this as an actual spoon rest. Or maybe a jewelry. Something to hold my jewelry in. But I, I felt a little bit better having a stainless steel one. The one I just showed you was nickel. They're both from Bed Bath. But I just thought that would be really nice to put that in there. And of course other things come in here. Go in here as well. It's kind of like a catch off for my makeup table. Uh bobby pins q-tips uh you know the butterfly clips for your hair my eyelash curler so it's it's really pretty i like the silver okay i also got from bed bath these hauls i'm not sick anymore but i have this residual cough that is like i'm hacking up along sometimes and it's really not ladylike and it's just annoying to be hacking up along in front of a whole bunch of people I also got these Q-tips. They're the Harman Face Values Cotton Swabs. And I didn't know I would have a preference for Q-tips, but I'm finding out there are different kinds and some that are not so great, like Swispers. I like the Swispers Cotton Round, so I wanted to give the Q-tips a try. Oh no. They were just inferior in quality that I couldn't even finish the box. I gave it away to uh, my mom. Ooh, she doesn't care what kind of q-tips she uses but I guess I do so I'm gonna try these and they look more like the ones that I like the Swispers ones the middle of it is plastic which I did not like at all okay uh from Amazon I got this is the Aveeno Baby Daily Moisture Lotion and since it's winter my skin this year has just really not usually I don't can't tell a difference uh, but this year I really have and so I am using something a little bit stronger and if it's safe for baby it's definitely going to work for me and then uh, Walmart I got oh another Amazon purchase sorry is this Colgate Sensitive Whitening Fresh Mint Toothpaste and then at Walmart I got this Sarah V Facial Moisturizing Lotion and it says PM and again following the same lines as Aveeno Baby my skin especially my face has become extra dry more than so more so more so lately I was using the Olay which I really love the sensitive the Olay complete sensitive but this is just not doing it and I'm gonna just say that for the summer so I decided to use this and if it's a little too heavy maybe I'll mix the two but I'm gonna try this because it's it's PM so it's gonna be a little bit stronger or thicker maybe and then at Bed Bath, I got this C.O. Bigelow My Favorite Night Balm. And this is probably my favorite lip balm of the moment. It's so strong that you only need a little bit each time. And I wanted a backup because I don't see these days off, that often. So I would highly recommend this. for. It says nighttime, but like I said, you could use it for daytime. It's fantastic. And then the last thing is this Sally Hansen Miracle Gel, which I haven't tried that line from Sally Hansen. This is the color Terracoppa, and I was watching, it's kind of like a rose gold color. I was watching, her name is Charlotte, but her vlog channel is, or her YouTube channel is, Crawling in My Web, and she's just 
really down to earth sweet her style is um i really like it so she's laid back california girl and she recommended this so i picked it up and i can't wait to try it it's beautiful and she said it lasted a long time so i'm hoping that it does for me too and that is my haul i hope you guys enjoyed it i know it was a lot of stuff but it just collects and collects and i was like it's time to do a video and i am excited to share with you my sephora vib sale haul um i think i picked up some good things and i even picked up some gifts which i'm going to show you as well and yeah i hope you guys are all doing well and i will talk to you soon